you know, I, I grew up in a very typical Mexican household where going to church was a, was a, a normal thing. You know, you go to every Sunday, and, and just going to these going to church and, and seeing blood flowing down from Christ, you know, behind the altar, just as a kid, really made a huge impact on me. And, and then also, never really quite understanding what what they were talking about in church. It was just, your imagination just was flowing. So when I did start painting. I guess all those childhood memories started flowing out um, subconsciously. I went to an exhibition at the Tucson Museum of Art and um, I saw this artist's work from Mexico and I was just so amazed by it. I, and I just kept going back to this exhibition. And um, the more I kept going back, the more I realized that his technique is actually pretty simple. And so then I started going back and taking notes and kind of like um, doing reverse engineering on, on his pieces, just taking them apart. And so then I went home and started experimenting, trying to simulate that same technique and um, came up with my own technique. Daniel Martin Diaz, is being exhibited currently in our Native Goods Gallery because it's uh, part of the way in which we hope to help celebrate National Hispanic Heritage Month. And Daniel is a, a noted uh, Latino artist in Tucson uh, whose work uh, deserves focus for a number of different reasons. I took it upon myself a couple of years ago to contact him to see if he would be willing to exhibit here for our celebration, our annual celebration of National Hispanic Heritage Month, and I had the good fortune to catch him at a time when he was available. So this is a second opportunity for us to uh, visit Daniel's work and to see the kind of change that has occurred over the past several years. Since the 1970s, the Arizona State Museum has housed this wonderful microfilm collection of old documents from Mexico and Spain that speak to the Spanish, the Hispanic presence in this area, in the greater Southwest. So it's not, it's not a leap for us to celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month because we have a rich documentary collection here and produce a lot of publications that speak to that relationship. Specifically though with Daniel Martin Diaz, um, this was decisions made based on the way his artwork spoke to the curatorial staff. Some of the curatorial specialists who put together our exhibits saw in Daniel's work a way to speak to another constituency. And as a faculty member, I jumped on board. I just started doing these paintings, got really obsessed with it, never thought about ever exhibiting them. I was just doing them purely from, you know, getting this, getting this the emotion that I had inside of me out. I think the success of his work is that when you look at it, you find yourself asking the same questions. And to me, one of the great successes of a good, strong work of art is that it promote a question. Not so much that it provide an answer. And I think the process of inquiry is the heart of Daniel's work. <laughs>